Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages might not be interested in this, but you probably are because you clicked on this video. <laughs> what is happening, everyone? You are watching KMRD Radio Stuff. My name is Mike. Thanks for tuning in. If you guys remember a little while back, we did a review of N6 ARA's little tiny paddle. This is a little backup CW key designed for portable operations. And in that video, I suggested it might be a good idea to have a version that we could just kind of hold in our hands and maybe play with that doesn't plug into the radio. Well, N6ARA has listened to the masses and has come out with a jack version of the N6ARA tiny paddle. This thing is freaking awesome. There's a 3D printed case that this fits in and just makes it so freaking cool to use. There's two versions. There's a kit version where you can assemble it all yourself, which is what we're gonna do today. And there's also a version that you can buy for five bucks more that's already pre-assembled if you don't feel comfortable soldering. So without any further ado, let's dive in. Let's solder this thing together. And uh, I wonder maybe if you buy the two and you connect them together, they might send CW for you. <laughs> let's hop over onto the bench and build us a key. All right, so let's see what we get in the box. Now, this is a extra add-on that you can purchase for five bucks. This is actually the holder for the kit when it's all assembled and it will look magically like this. So the key just slides in there for storage, flip it out and plug it in and now you're on the air. Isn't that cool? I purchased all of this, it was like 20 bucks. I actually purchased one of these, lost it uh, in the same time, he emailed me and said that he sent me one. So that's where this one came from. And then I bought another one because I lost it, uh, the, the, the packaged one. And then that came and then I found it. So now I have three of these. <laughs> so anyway, so we get this cool little vial for storage, which I love this. I think that's just a great solution for storing the key. We've got the PCB here. That's what's going to hold everything. This is the main component here. We've got our paddles. Those are the actual paddles themselves. Here is the actual uh, three and a half millimeter jack. That's what we're gonna plug into. We've got a couple little paddle covers here. Some super glue to glue those paddle covers to the paddles. And this here, which I thought was neat, this is actually a kind of adjustment tool. So if you have one of the paddles, this is used to actually, uh, you know, if you need to pull or push your dits and daws further or closer together to make contact, uh, that's what that's for. So that's a neat addition. Now, the first thing that we want to do is clean the pads with a little alcohol. Next, we're going to place the board dit side up. Apply a little bit of flux and then we're going to apply enough solder to cover the pad like such. And then once the pad has cooled, apply a little bit more flux. Next we're going to align our paddle so that the foot is resting on the solder. And here's where tweezers might be handy. I'm actually going to spin this around. Once we have it seated properly, we want to heat it from the pad side. And I'm going to try and put some pressure on here without screwing it up. And this should just kind of fall into place. Once our solders heat up enough, there we go. Just like that. Just like that. That could not have gone any better for me. And once it has cooled, we're going to apply some alcohol. And we're gonna clean off all of that resin from the flux as best we can. Voila! Side number one is done. Now we're gonna flip the board over and do the same thing, but this time on the DAW side. Again, apply a little bit of flux. And 
And then we need to let that cool so we can add a little more flux. And that helps reflow the solder once you're going to uh, install the pad. And now that's cooled, a little more flux. Just a touch, we don't need much. And then position your paddle. Apply your heat. And it should sink in, just like that. And once it's cooled down a bit, again, add some alcohol. Clean all of that flux off of it. Beautiful. That is much better than the first time I built this key. The next step, we're going to solder the jack connector to the PCB with the dit side up. And there's two little tabs on this side and one on this side, and there's corresponding pads for that. There's also a tiny little kind of nub thing there that uh, there's a hole in the PCB that this should fit into and, and uh, hopefully make a little snapping noise. Yep, there we are. Oh, so now we need to solder the center pin, which is this little guy here. So with just the tiniest amount of heat and solder, then we can turn it around and solder the other two connectors. Very, very little amount of solder. Beautiful. And that, is now installed. And then I'm just gonna clean off those pads. There's a little bit of flux on there, not much from the rosin core solder. But we just wanna keep it as tidy as possible. Next, we're going to glue the little pads onto the keyers. And we're gonna do that with the super glue now the instructions say to be very careful with this. So grab something worthless like a KMRD card. And that is what, uh, how do we poke a hole in here? That is what we're gonna use to apply the glue. So it comes out pretty, pretty quick initially. And what you wanna do is just get something, I just cut a Q-tip here. And we just wanna put a little dab of glue, very, very little. And we're going to apply that to the connector now and press firmly for 15 to 30 seconds and rinse and repeat on the other side. Little dab will do you. That's probably too much actually, but in KMRD style, go big or go home. And apply some pressure. Officially, this is done. The last thing uh, we have to do is a couple more steps. Uh, one is definitely you want to do. We want to make sure that the paddles are actually uh, set to the width that we want. And then uh, the last step, if we uh, optionally purchased the little case, would be to install it in that. Now, this is neat. I don't know if this comes stock. I, this is just how I purchased it, so I would assume it would. But on the, uh, he's got two of these, two different kinds of these little adjustment jobby thingies. And on the cable, he's printed one that actually connects to the cable. So when you're out in the field, if you need to make adjustments, it's just always there. The other one actually rests inside of the case, the housing. So uh, just very clever. Again, these are designed for like backup use. So if your backup paddle fails, that's really bad. So he's really thought of many ways to prevent that from happening. So this is really cool. Okay, so now let's plug in our paddle. We got it hooked up to the 705. And uh, let's see if it works. <laughs> well, it works, but we need to separate our uh, dits and daws a little bit. So we can use this tool to just kind of yank them away until that stops. And it should be very, very easy to touch these and uh, key. So it works. Now we could just use this in its state, just like this, no problem. But 
for five bucks more, I think it was, uh, I bought this little uh, case here. And this is just, it's a friction fit. It's genius. I, I absolutely love this thing. So the jack fits in here. It's designed to fit in one way. Oh, just, it's like a USB, so you got to do it right the first time and then turn it around and do this wrong and then do it right again. And that just fits in. It's a friction fit. Okay. See how the jack is now exiting the back of it for storage. Just fits in there. Your little adjustment key guy stays there. If you need to make adjustments when you're ready to key, insert your jack, plug it in. And now, now you're good to go. How freaking awesome is this? So you've got a jack and you've got a Jill. Although that should be the jack and that should be the Jill, but whatever. Either way, you've got really awesome backup keys now. And they're just so small, so lightweight. I mean, 20 bucks for this whole kit for the DIY with the little holder thingy, I mean, you, you can't beat that. For all the guys who are crabbing, oh, this jack will break off the solder inside your radio, you shouldn't do that. Now you have another option. But I just think this is the better choice for me because I, I wanna be able to hold it without having to just plug this into the radio. But absolutely brilliant solutions for both. I love them, I'm glad that I now own both of them. I'm glad that I paid twice for this guy because I lost it and then I found it. Buy both. It's awesome. N6 AR8 makes great products. I love these things. Well, there we have it, gang. Another absolutely fantastic product from N6 ARA. Uh, I absolutely love these keys. From the second I saw them from Thomas Witherspoon, I had to have the plug one. Now I got the jack. Thank you, uh, Era, I believe it is. Era, Ara, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name, uh, for making these and for listening to the suggestions of myself and uh, lots of other people about the plug version so we could just kind of hold it in our hand and do our little dits and dahs and things. Guys, n6ara.com is the website. I will leave a link in the bottom. Not sponsored, not affiliated. I paid for these things and I really, really like them and I hope you will too. Keep in mind, these are designed as backup keys. There were some comments about this on the last video. Right on the website, it is a backup key. So bring your main one along. If it breaks, you have a backup. That's the design of these and I love them. So anyway, guys, if you find this kind of stuff useful, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, share it, comment, all that kind of good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at K8MRD. And as always, thank you for watching another episode of K8MRD Radio Stuff. 73, guys.